this is a clinical case video. When you see this symbol flash, hit pause and have a think about the question before moving on. This way you'll get much more from the video. You're working in general practice and reviewing blood tests. You've just got the blood results back from a 70 year old gentleman who you saw the other day. He was complaining of being tired all the time. He had no other symptoms and his examination was normal. For a man of his age he was quite fit. His only past medical history was of hypertension which was very well controlled with amlodipine. All the tests you requested of this patient were normal except for the blood count. The HB is 92, the MCV is 74, and notice also that the mean cell haemoglobin concentration is low at 28. What are the possible causes for a microcytic anemia? Iron deficiency anemia is the most common cause. Thalassemia minor causes microcytic anemia, but this is unlikely. Anemia of chronic disease can cause a normocytic or microcytic anemia and should be considered. However, it's unlikely in his case as his only past medical history is of hypertension. So what is the next test to request? Ferritin, which will give you an indication of the available iron stores. It's also worthwhile requesting a CRP because ferritin, as an acute phase protein, is raised in inflammatory states. Therefore, if the CRP is raised, you should interpret the ferritin with caution. You add on a ferritin and CRP. The ferritin is 4, the CRP is less than 2. So his iron is low and we can be confident this is correct as the CRP is normal. He has iron deficiency anemia. What's the most important cause of iron deficiency anemia in a patient of this age? A gastrointestinal cancer. You call the patient and ask him to come back to see you in the clinic. What further questions are you going to ask him? Weight loss, bowel symptoms such as bleeding and an alteration in bowel habit, and upper GI symptoms, which will include things like heartburn or dyspepsia, epigastric pain, and dysphagia. What are the most important investigations the patient needs to have? Urgent upper and lower gastrointestinal endoscopy to look for potential cancer. You could consider anti-TTG antibodies. Obviously, our first priority must be to rule out gastrointestinal cancer. However, if the scopes are normal, we need to consider other causes for iron deficiency. In recent years, it's been acknowledged that there is another peak incidence in celiac disease late in life, so it may be worth revisiting the history and testing for anti-TTG antibodies in the blood. I hope you've enjoyed this short clinical case video. You can find more of these on our channel page.